Hey everybody, it's Kristen at Decorators Warehouse and fall is right around the corner. So I wanted to jump on today and show you how to create a beautiful fall swag for your front door. Today we're gonna to be working on a 36 inch pine teardrop base. Um, and the first thing that we're gonna do whenever you get your teardrop, they tend to come kind of flat. So we're gonna shape it um, and it's very simple. You're just gonna pull the greenery out towards you. And this will give it a nice and full look. And that easy detail goes a long way for making your teardrop look the best that it can. So the first thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a bow. And I've chosen this beautiful jute ribbon with a, a cute little edging on it. Um, so we're gonna create an 11 loop bow to start. And if you haven't done bows before, um, it really is pretty simple, but it definitely takes practice. So I would actually recommend getting a roll of ribbon, um, tying a bow, untying it, and then just trying it over and over because it does take a little bit of practice. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna leave a tail. So my tail's about, oh, six to eight inches. And then I'm gonna create a loop. And I'm just gonna gather it and hold it with this finger here. Now, as you can see, the bottom of my ribbon is facing up. I'm actually gonna twist that because I want this good, pretty side to be facing forward. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You can actually pull them up um, to measure that your loops are the same size. So I'm just gonna pleat that, hold it in my finger, and twist. And I'm gonna repeat this process until I have 11 good loops. I'll have five on one side and six on the other. This is a really thick <laughs> ribbon, so I'm actually holding it pretty much with my whole hand. It does take a, quite a bit of finger strength to hold the ribbon, but since this one's thick, I'm just gonna use the whole hand. Once I have my 11 loops, I'm actually gonna take a piece of green floral wire. I'm gonna lift up my fingers here and slide this around all of it. And I wanna hold it really tight and secure because I don't wanna lose this ribbon that I've already tied. And then I'm just gonna make a twist um, a couple times to get that really nice and tight. And then I can actually cut this part off. So I'm gonna leave another tail, probably about eight inches. And when I cut that, I'm just gonna cut it at a knife edge or a diagonal. And then I'm gonna fluff out each of my loops. So when I fluff them, um, one's gonna go forward, then I'm gonna pull to the left, pull to the right, pull forward. And then same left, I'll go to the other side, up, left, right, forward, left, <laughs> and right. And you can see it, it's kind of flat right now, so then I'm just gonna come inside of each loop and open them up. And I'll just cut this other tail at a diagonal as well. Okay, once my bow is shaped, I'm actually gonna place it right here along the top of my swag, um, and I'm gonna use the wire that's holding it to secure it in place. So I'm gonna open that up and then I'm actually gonna wrap it around the base of the swag and just tighten it in place with the wire. And then once you have it on, um, you know, just step back and look at it again. You're gonna probably wanna shape it a little bit more um, once it's in place just to kind of make sure it looks the way that you want it to look. All right, and I'm gonna set the rest of my ribbon aside because I am gonna weave this through in just a little bit. Um, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure my sign. And I've chosen this really cute uh, fall sign. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Um, so we're gonna put this kind of in this area here. Um, and as you can see, we have this little area right here. Um, and I'm actually gonna tie the greenery on to this to hold it in place. So I'm gonna choose um, some of the thinner branches. This particular swag has different foliages. Some are real thin, um, some are bushier. So we're gonna choose the thin ones. I'm gonna slide it through that little hole and just kind of wrap it around. And then I'm gonna find another little one and slide it around 
there. Okay, and once my sign is kind of secured, I'm gonna come in with the ribbon, the remainder of what we used earlier, and this is a 10 yard roll. And I'm going to, I almost want this to look like a continuation of the bow. So I'm gonna start with the tail, and just do a little pinch here. And I'll come back in kind of behind the bow. And I'm gonna wrap the greenery in place to hold it. So you see it kind of looks almost like continuation. And then we're gonna create a loop. And again, we're wrapping the greenery to hold it in place. We don't want it too tight, so I'm gonna kind of pull that out a little bit. And then I'm actually going to, instead of starting my next loop here, I'm gonna create a little jog upward. Let me switch to the other side here. Kind of pull this up inside, and then I'm gonna create a loop here on this side. And then we're gonna do just a small one here at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave a tail here. It's gonna be a longer tail, so probably about 18 inches. And I'm gonna cut out a knife edge or a diagonal. And I'm gonna hang on to the remainder of the ribbon. I can actually use this later on if I need to fill in space. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with these great picks. Um, and we love simple, <laughs> simple is the best. So. Um, these are wonderful because they have a lot of different elements to it. They have the sunflower, um, the pumpkin, they have this great maple leaf and a berry. Um, so a lot of people spend a lot of time adding a lot of different picks to create this look. This is one piece, a one and done kind of deal. So what we're gonna do, um, I am gonna cut this stem down a little bit. So it's gonna have a set of he uh, heavy wire cutters like these. And then I am going to Kind of decide my placement um, before I glue, but I am gonna use this towards the bottom of the swag. See how that just completes that look so nicely. Okay, so I think I like it there. So I'm gonna run a little hot glue along the stem. Now you don't have to glue your pieces in, of course. If you like to change your decor often, um, this allows you to reuse your pine bases. Um, but I do like to glue mine in because I do like to use mine year after year. So I'm just going to slide that up and then I'm going to push the spine of the spray up along the greenery and I'm going to wrap a couple branches around it to hold it in place even more. And I'll do that in two different locations. And I'm gonna come in with my second one. Um, it is so, since it is so big, I am going to cut it into two pieces and you can just kind of find a natural break and cut it there. So I've got one um, with the cute pumpkin and then this other one here with the sunflower. Just cut that stem down a little bit here and I think it'd be fun to add a sunflower kind of up in this area and then I'll do my pumpkin a little more over here since I have quite a bit of space. Okay, and so once I've kind of figured out where I'm gonna put them, I am gonna glue them in place. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, now this could definitely be um, you know, a stop point if you wanted to just say, um, I'm done right there. It still looks nice and full with you know, a ribbon, a sign, and a couple picks, um, but I wanna add a little bit more. So this is a great uh, cotton filler. You know, you could do this in a vase, um, you could do it in a wreath, garland, Christmas tree, so many uses for this. Um, but I'm actually gonna cut them down into three sections, kind of at their natural breaks. And then I'm just gonna look for any openings and I'm gonna stick these in to fill spaces. Okay, and once all of my cotton's placed, I'm gonna come in with this great um, dewberry spray. These are wonderful because they're so light and airy and it just adds a really nice texture to your piece. Um, so this one I can actually cut into a couple pieces. Again, I'm just gonna use the natural break. So I've got this one here. 
I think I'll leave this one all together, but I could cut that down even a little more if I wanted to. So again, I'm just kind of looking for spaces um, that maybe I'm still seeing the greenery. Um, and I'm gonna place everything first. I always place um, before I glue one layer at a time. Okay, I did use two of that spray, um, and I actually am gonna come in and I am gonna secure my sign down a little bit more um, using the glue. So I can actually put that right onto the base of the sign and then just press it down to hold it in place. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do, I do not like to be wasteful. So I still have some ribbon left. Um, I am gonna come in and create um, just some simple, you know, tails to fill in where I'm still seeing a little bit of space. So I'm gonna do one kind of in this area and then another one kind of in this area. And I'm just gonna pinch it and then I'm gonna wrap the greenery around it to hold it in place. All right, and one very important part of design is being able to look at it to see where it's not um, necessarily as full as other places. So when I step back, I actually notice like I still have some space in here um, and I'd like to bring some more of the orange color up. Um, so I've grabbed these picks. Again, these are great because they have different foliages. They have leaves, uh, pine cones as well. Um, so I am gonna cut this one down just a little bit so I can make it go even farther. So I've got the little maple leaf with the pine cone. I'm gonna come in and add that maybe right in this area. And then come in with the other part up top. All right, guys, there you have it. A beautiful fall teardrop swag for your front door. Um, you can take the exact same principles that we learned today on this fall piece and translate them into Christmas as well. Um, I just wanna encourage you in your design ability, just keep practicing, keep growing, uh, keep learning, um, but you can definitely do this at home as well. I am Kristen, I'm with Decorators Warehouse. Um, you can find us online now or we're at www.decoratorswarehouse.com and everything that you've seen um, today in this video can be found there as well. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram as well. If you love this video, be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.